Okay, so, like, I know I said that, um, literally the blackface controversy just happened, Mama Moo, and you're just, like, I don't know what it is about Mama Moo, but, like, they're just so attentive to their fans, no matter where they are. Hang on. Let me just, let me just pull them up, okay? Let me just pull it up. Hey guys, um, today, um, <coughs> well, recently, the Mama Moo Blackface controversy happened, you know, a lot of fandoms got involved, we talked about this, hang on, I have to see, um, we just talked about this controversy, it just happened, literally, like, three hours ago, literally, I haven't been able to sleep with peace because I've been worried about the whole situation. Mainly because I know Mama Moo isn't racist. And I don't want anybody to think that they are racist. Because they're, they're really not, okay? Like, they shouldn't have done that, but they're really not racist at all. And they love all sexualities and all religion and all genders of any of their fans and um they just released at like 5 a.m a fan cafe update um it's an apology to every international fan involved so i'm going to read the apology in english out loud i got this sub i got this translation from tumblr Either that or they um, wrote it in English too. If they wrote it in English, I'm very impressed because their writing in English is like really good. We are extremely sorry for our insensitive actions in the use of blackface in our video while portraying Bruno Mars. There's no excuse for what we did and there are not enough words to explain how regretful we are. We have heartbroken to we are heartbroken to have hurt our international K-pop fans so deeply. I just read that first line and I was like, I already forgive you. <laughs> because they not only addressed the fact that their actions were insensitive, but they also addressed the fact that there's no excuse. Like, everyone was trying to make ex Like, there were a lot of Moomoo's who were addressing that it was a real problem and that Mama Moo needed to apologize. Not saying they were going to leave the group or anything. There were people saying that they were going to leave the group. And, you know, it's fine if you don't want to stand them. Like I said, I understand that it's not easy to forgive the girls for this. But, um, I know a lot of Moo are, um, people are saying Mama Moo is canceled. They're going to disband. And to that I say, I'm going to read this apology letter. We love and care so much for all our people of every color, race, Sexuality, religion, and gender. We love all our fans, and we are so sorry to have hurt our fans in the black community. So they're genuinely sorry that they hurt uh, their fans in the black community. And they feel horrible. Like, they feel really bad about it. Because they love all their fans. Um, we understand now why our actions were wrong, and we never meant to do harm with our video. We were extremely ignorant of blackface and did not understand the implications of our actions. Like I said, they live in Korea. In Korea, while it has progressed forward in some of the social, you know, social and, like, moral ethnics and stuff, there's still a lot of things they don't understand. So they don't understand that blackface was wrong. Because blackface in Asia is not seen as wrong. But they do, they did need to educate themselves before they even pulled a stunt like that because they know that international fans watch fan cams and they find pictures and stuff. So they were, they admit that they were ignorant to that, which I appreciate. 
We will be taking time to understand more about our international fans to ensure this never happens again. We hope you will help to educate us on these other issues so that we can become better people and better artists. That right there is why I still have them as my ultimate bias group. That right there, just the fact that, you know, they they first admitted what they did wrong. They said they love all their fans. They never meant to harm anyone. But it was ignorant that they did. And the fact that they just said that they were going to take time to listen to international fans and um, get educated by us on what's right, what's wrong with culture and stuff. That is a big thing to do. And, like, I'm just really happy right now because I needed this apology. I knew that they were going to release this apology, but I thought it was going to be, like, not even the same day. But guess what? Three hours after the whole thing blew up, they were like, yeah, we're going to apologize because we are Baba Boo and we're good people. They're good people. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention and allowing us to right the wrongs we have done. Mama Moo. So, you know, they sounded super disappointed in themselves in the letter. And, you know, what I love about that letter is that, you know, they didn't have to write that letter. They could have just let RBW apologize. There have been times where artists have done things and the company just apologized, but the artist didn't apologize at all. Um, and so the fact that Mama Moo, you know, realized what they did was wrong and felt horrible about it. The moment that they realized it, they sent out a full-fledged apology to the fans. Now, does this mean that I'm going to say that everyone should forgive Mama Moo and stand them again? No. If you still think it's really a bad thing to do and that no one should do it, and you think that Mama Moo is, you know, heart a little bit heartless for doing that, you can, you know, you can not stand them. I still respect the decision if you don't want to stand them. Blackface is still a big issue in society, and I still understand. But I am going to forgive them. Mainly because that po apology was so sincere. And, like, if you know Baba Boo, you know that they accept, like, anyone. Like, when they went to New York, they weren't afraid to dance with, like, a practically naked woman in the streets of New York. Oh, and she was also black. So they, you know, they really enjoyed dancing with that black woman in New York. And, like, even though she wasn't a fan, they still enjoyed her. They just enjoy everyone. And they did make a mistake. But what I like about this is that they apologized for it immediately after it happened. And they feel so regretful about it. And that is why I'm still going to stand Mama Moo. And I'm still going to love Mama Moo. And they're still going to be my ultimate bias group. Because... The fact that they apologized so fast, the, pa the fact that their apology was so sincere, the fact that they're willing to learn our culture to make sure that they don't hurt us again is a big thing to admit, like admitting that you were wrong and that you want to right your wrongs. That is the definition of good people. And Mama Moo, they are good people. Now, like I said, if you don't want to stand them, that's fine. To all of you people who are going to say that Mama Moo is canceled and stuff, um, you can have your own opinion about that, but I don't think that's going to be true, especially after this apology. I don't know how many black fans we're going to lose in the community, how many African American fans we're going to lose in the community. But, you know, I don't know how many are going to stay either. Um, I'm sure there are going to be those people that stay, you know, if they're black or African American, which it's the same thing. I'm sorry, I'm still tired. It's 5 a.m. Um, 
but I know that there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot less black people in the community, or people who, you know, just can't accept that action. And I don't accept it either, but the fact that Mama Moo said that they were wrong and that they're willing to change their actions and listen to all the international fans is good. You know, Mama Moo has always listened to their fans, and I think that's what I love about Mama Moo so much. When the Decal Comedy video came out the first time and the Solar Clip came out, a bunch of fans were offended by it, and they edited it, and Solar explained her reasoning, but she apologized for that clip being in the video, and so did RBW, and the fact that RBW and Mama Moo have also apologized for this just proves how good of a company and how good of a group Mama Moo is, because they didn't just not address it or leave it be or let people talk about it. They... The fans, the international fans, said that they were disappointed in Mama Moo. They wanted an apology for Mama Moo, and we got it. And it was a very sincere apology, and I know that Mama Moo means it because they're just really nice, innocent people. So, this is another video that I want shared because this video is probably going to get, you know, this apology might be overshadowed by the people who are probably going to hate on them a lot. I'm not going to lie. A lot of the hate gets shown more than a lot of the love. But this is just an appreciation for Mama Moo and their apology. It was, an, it was a mistake. They apologized for it. And now they're willing to move forward learning our culture so that way they can better themselves not only as people but as artists. And if we want them to go on that world tour, which I do want them to go on, let's just forgive Mama Moo. Um, you don't have to forgive them. I understand. But, you know, let's forgive Mama Moo. Hashtag forgive Mama Moo. <laughs> I don't know why I said hashtag. Um, well, I'm going to go... And post this and then go back go back to sleep finally my nerves are calming down I'm glad that this is over so that way I could sleep because I'm sick as a dog um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you later bye bye